I'm often asked um, when I go traveling painting abroad, how do I manage? What, how do I work with the paints and how do I take them on the plane? Well, in theory, you should be able to put them in your hold luggage because at the end of the day, it's just oil and pigment. But I wouldn't recommend risking that. So I always put them in hold. Now that, that again, can present problems if, if your luggage is such, but what I recommend you do is I mostly use Michael Harding paints, um, but what you'll find is whatever paints you use, there will be a list of somewhere on the website of um, the, the ingredients. Now this um, is basically a certificate that you can print off off the uh, web page, guaranteeing and telling the Mr. Jobsworth that yes, the paints are safe and they're okay. And it, it's, it gives the details of the composition and these materials are not restricted for air transportation based on the product information supplied. So hopefully that will get you through customs, etc. <clears throat> I haven't ever known that anybody have their paints confiscated, but you, know, you never know. The other thing, of course, you can't take with you, even in hold, is white spirit. So when you get to the other end, wherever you go, hope it's somewhere nice, um, you have to source white spirit uh, when you get there. But it, it's available in all countries in some form or another. I remember going to uh, Morocco and a friend went off and found some stuff, which, well, if it didn't take the paint out, it nearly took the bristles out as well and it stank, but it did the job. So you can always get around that. And to carry them, I carry them in this box, um, any plastic box with a sealed lid should be fine. But this one, it's quite a bit big really. Uh, that's what I use when I'm traveling in this country. So put them into a sealed box. And another tip for you is don't go buying lots of big new tubes because it adds to the weight. Uh, these are my tubes I travel with. I travel with the part used tubes. I mean, even if I painted every day for a week, I'm not gonna um, use all of that paint up. <clears throat> so you'll find that you, you, you'll be okay. And if you can get hold of them, these little tubes are marvellous. Um, in fact, you, you probably don't need a lot more than that, if I'm honest, because you've got your three basic primaries and a warm white. But I know we have to take that other colour just in case you need it. <laughs> um, okay, so, oh, the other thing, what you can do if you're going to set a dress, you can always post them. Yes, I know it's still going on the aeroplane, but I've, I've posted paints out in the past and um, it's great. They're there when you come, keeps the weight down. It's if I've wanted to travel with hand luggage only, it, it solves that problem. Otherwise, of course, you've got to put everything in hold. Now, but my boards, ideally, I like to work on um, MDF board, not too big, <clears throat> but for weight, this is thick mount board, which I've gessoed, and that is much lighter. But if you're using mount board, you don't really, well, this is a 10 by eight inches. You really wouldn't want to go much more than 10 by 12 inches um, because of the flexibility of it. So how do I carry my wet paintings home? Well, a little tip that I picked up and I'd like to say that it was my idea, but it isn't, it came from the lovely Ken Howard, is matchsticks. So I've got a little film tube filled with matchsticks and I take a matchstick out and I carry these with me when I go away just in case I have to buy boards or, or I haven't had time to do it and with this little pot of PVA I glue matchsticks onto the edge of the board right on the edge and put them all the way around so that when you've got them done and you've got your wet painting, so this is said wet painting, you put another one on the top. And when you've painted on that one, you can put another one on the top and you can stack them up and they're quite rigid. And with that gap in between, the painting doesn't get um, smudged. Of course they will move. So what you then do is to just a little bit of tape like 
like that. And there you go. There's your wet paintings, all nice and safe. And if they are still wet when you're traveling home, um, they, they will still be fine, but I would suggest putting them into a carrier bag rather than putting them right next to your clean white blouse. Right, so that's traveling with paint. Now then, what do I take when I go out in the field? This is my bag that I take. It's a fabulous bag, actually. It's, um, it's a bit like the TARDIS. Cool. I've got my brushes. These, this is an old uh, bleach container that I've cut down and I put a piece of string through it so that I can hang them on my easel. Itch and roll. I actually don't always carry the whole roll with me. I do have in one of the pockets inside lots of pieces. I tear them off and put them into the pocket. I've got a hat for keeping the sun out of my eyes when I'm painting. I have got a container for my white spirit, which is completely uh, leak proof. So that's quite useful. And that, again, that I hang that on my Alex. Big bag for putting dirty bits of uh, rag. I have got, there you go. This is a tiny little bottle um, that you can get on the airplane. I think it might have had gin in, but probably not. So I have, I decant my, uh, we usually use zest it actually, zest it medium. If you, so if you're using a medium to paint with, you don't really want to be carrying that around with you. I have that and then I can pour it into my dipper. So we have that. My boards. These haven't got matchsticks on, but if I was going out, I would I would have pre-matched it them. My boards are in there. And what else have we got in there? Oh, don't forget, you always need to carry with you your um, business cards, just in case you get an inquiry, because quite a lot of people sell off the easel. So that's my bag, and here's my palette. This is actually um, an open-end palette, which, um, if I'm going out, I squeeze my paints out beforehand. Um, I carry a few tubes with me. You don't need to carry all the paints with you because if you, for example, red, you're not going to use a lot. So you don't need to carry all your colours with you all the time. And the other thing I take with me is my easel. This one's actually really quite heavy and it extends. And if it's very windy, you can splay the legs out even more for stability. So it's not going to blow over. If you're travelling abroad, it might be worth investing in a lighter weight easel, but I still take this with me because it's my favourite. So I put that up and my palette clicks on like that. This particular make is um, made in America. It's an open box M. Uh, very useful. I can hang my brushes on there. And I hang my turp spot on there and my board fits on there. So there we are, all set to go.